Our story begins with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma Julie. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there having lunch. They competed like this on adventure after adventure. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. The two of them semi-retired to start a family, and they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it, and poof, the word would come to life. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats, so they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids and then disappeared. It didn't seem like anything had happened. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. We didn't know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. Lucky for us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. When you do enough things to make others happy, you will find Starite. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough Starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, that's it! I'm gonna go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm gonna get all the Starites in the world, and I'm gonna make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. Oh, hey folks, Jim of Dead here. Uh, thought I'd try something different, not what the usual YouTube game I would actually play. Um, because it's Scribble Notes Unlimited, basically. Um, can't say I've ever played it before. A um, little bit different, so let's get the basics out of the way and can have a bit of fun with it and see where we go. <laughs> Okay, so let's create a cleaning brush. There you go. Let's clean the pig. Piggy be clean. <laughs> okay, let's remove that object. So, oh, so he just dumps it on the floor. It's not very nice. In. Piggy looks clean apparently. Oh, look at the piggy. 
Add an adjective. Grow? I don't know. No, I actually mean grow. Wow. It's got even bigger. Hints are unlocked over time. Click on the associated object to view its hints. Okay, fair enough. Let's click the pig again. I will need things wings large enough to help me fly. Oh okay. Write an object. Um, um Wings. Large wings. The magic backpack stores objects for later. Throw the wings in the backpack and wait for the judges to arrive. Okay, I'm guessing these are the judges then. With a little prize cup. <clears throat> Look at the piggy fly. There you go, now we've seen a pig fly. Flying pig got number one. Wow. Cool. So that's one of them star things. Pick it up. The basics completed. Total star rights one. Cool. Earn shards by helping people. Ten shards from a form a star right. Use star right vision to help find shards. Watering can? Yeah, boy. <laughs> well, wow. okay, so you're scared of a wavy of a shard opportunity. That's not what I wanted, to, what I wanted to hear, but. Let's go for it again. Ah, right. There you go, half a cat. Do the tutorial again. Um, okay, let's head off up to the capital city. <laughs> <laughs> 